Tonight we celebrate the Skyscraper Museum in our city's newest skyscraper. Virtually everyone in this room has made a career of designing, building, developing, leasing, and or managing real estate. So the immortal words of the great builder, William Starrett, will resonate. I know we all know Starrett as the builder, as the builder of the Woolworth Building and the Empire State Building. I learned at the Skyscraper Museum that Starrett's 1928 book called Skyscrapers and the Men Who Build Them is widely considered, quoting Carol Willis, the best book ever written on the subject. And although I'm not crazy about the title, <laughs> it is in fact a great book. So my text tonight, my remarks tonight, is taken from Starrett's book. And here's the quote. Building a skyscraper is the nearest peacetime equivalent to war. Almost a hundred years later, I think all of us in this room can validate, can validate that these words were never more true. And they're more true today than they were in 1928 when he wrote them. The process of assembling a site in Manhattan, navigating the nuanced and labyrinthine land use process, dealing with communities of interest that rarely seem to embrace development opportunities, and putting together the capital stack for a high-rise, high-cost venture is only the beginning. Everything I just said in that last sentence, that last run-on sentence, everything I just described happens before the site is cleared or a foundation excavated. One Vanderbilt represents all of these challenges in one glorious tower. Mark Holliday and his brilliant team at SL Green made the biggest gamble of their lifetime when they sought to change zoning, buy out the tenants who populated the minor structures that stood on this block, and then inform their shareholders that they were starting ground up construction on a multi-billion dollar tower. <laughs> In Jamie Von Klemper and KPF, they picked a seasoned and gifted architect, and then SLG had the wisdom to support great design. Terracotta panels, extraordinary slab heights, details and finishes and technology that represent the best our industry has to offer today. But to make it work, they had to achieve triple-digit rents in a portion of Midtown East where rents typically run in the $50 to $60 range. Steve Durrells and his in-house leasing team, Bob Alexander, my colleague, and his CBRE team have given it all that they have. They were only 60% leased when COVID hit, but then this magic happened. Prospective tenants got to walk on the floors, and they take a look, and they realize seeing is believing. They understand that one Vanderbilt is a miracle. One Vanderbilt is now over 90% leased and setting record rents. So if you want to build a skyscraper in New York, especially if you want to build a great skyscraper, you have to be a warrior. You have to have vision, courage, a strong stomach that can handle uncertainty, and a few billion dollars. <laughs> the Skyscraper Museum the Skyscraper Museum celebrates these warriors. It is the mission of the Skyscraper Museum to capture and recount the saga that these warriors endure in order to give the city its skyline. So please join me tonight in celebrating the work of Carol Willis and her team at the Skyscraper Museum and all the great real estate warriors who created One Vanderbilt. So apparently Larry, Larry is here now. You made it just in time. We <laughs> Can you say a few words? A, the, the, a tall figure in the field Another of the sky. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> well, now that I see Mark. <laughs> Wonderful to be here. Right? What's one hell of a building? I called you, by the way. I'm ready, ready to make that date. You were the uh, <laughs> aspiration for this. I'm you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. In any event, Carol, you've done a hell of a job. And all I say is, God bless you for doing what you did. It's been great.
Okay. <laughs>